Oof! I'm all tuckered out. Uh, it's been a, it's been a long it's been a long week. It's been a long work week, but uh, I have been trying to squeeze my Warframe in, make sure that I uh, progress enough to to get some some fresh new content out for you. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna check out some of the more um, uh, craftable stuff from demos, per in in particular in particular people. I built a necromech. <laughs> oh yeah, got that done. So we have to we have to claim it. We got to do it. Oh, oh, it's hot. I got my I got my first necromech. I think there I think there's gonna be like more versions of them coming up. Like I this is I think the only one you can get right now. But but um, like the void rig necromech says it's like oh it's nothing fancy but it gets the job done. But I think there might be other versions of necromechs. It's just that like we haven't gotten everything in Dimos yet. We haven't gotten the uh, boss fights against the the two worms, you know, Fass and Vom, and we're probably gonna get more stuff story wise related to the isolation vaults. Like I'm gonna assume that that you probably need a necromech for uh, uh, for doing um, uh, those boss fights. I've also heard that people are saying that like, oh yeah, necromechs are great for um, uh, for idolons and and profit taker and like these huge huge boss fights in the open worlds worlds like the ones that already exist they're like oh yeah necromechs are, are the new meta they're 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 absolutely fantastic for that okay so as you can see the necromech uh starts by having like my kuva ayanga for some reason but when you build the necromech you automatically get uh the weapon for it the mausolon and I haven't tried it out yet, but I've heard, I've heard that the Mausolon is is a beast. I've heard that it's a goddamn beast. Um. Okay, so it's using the uh, Arcwing stuff, obviously, because it is, it is an ar arch gun. So we want the primed Rubdo line barrel, obviously, in there. And we want the automatic trigger in there, obviously. Like, I might want to just plop an or Orokin reactor into this thing. Because, I, I, like, this might be my new... I mean a catalyst. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Let's do it. This this thing is probably way too good not to. So I'm probably going to invest, like, a million billion for mine in it as well. Crit focus? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, oh, viral damage. Ooh, we like that. Ooh, we like viral damage. Because it's got innate heat, so now we got like heat and viral right off the bat. Mmm, oh, that's juicy. I like that. Can we, can we chuck anything else in there? Crit chance is really high. Base crit chance. Base status chance is not bad at all either. 300 uh, shots in the magazine. That's great. And like all of the uh, Dymos weapons, it's got that thing where, like, you use the normal fire to kill enemies and it builds up a meter. And once the meter is full, you can do an interesting thing. <laughs> you can do interesting things. So, let's see. I'm gonna do this, I think, instead of the crit focus to get crit chance and crit damage when aiming. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can increase base crit chance, crit damage as it is. Yes, that's great. 60% crit chance, wonderful. And it's got mostly puncture damage. This is not gonna do all that much, but let's just chuck one in anyway. Yay, a bit more. All right, went from 100 damage to 1,000 damage. That's great. Like I wanna try, I wanna try this. <laughs> I, I've heard, I've heard this kind of stupid. And the necromech. If we look at this, this is kind of cool. Look at this thing. This thing has 12 mod slots, but like people have tried this out. The limit uh, is not mod slots with this. With like every other thing in the game, the limit is the amount of mod slots you have, not the capacity. With this one, it's actually capacity that is the limit. If you max out every Necromech mod that exists, um, you don't have enough capacity to slot all of them in. Even if you form every single one of these 12, which is kind of interesting. But Necromech... Necromech is here to stay. 
We're gonna react to this baby. Shaboomba. Oh, it's gonna be great. We're gonna invest in this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I've gotten four... I mean, I've gotten eight out of the twelve uh, Necromech mods by just running Isolation Vaults. They drop from, from Necromechs. So, which ones? Slide attack damage. Okay. Jump height. Armor. Engine. Health. Melee attack speed. Range. And ability range. Alright, so we don't... We're missing, like... Uh, mm. We're missing some juicy things, like I can't boost shields, for example. Um, but we definitely want health. Definitely want armor. Definitely want melee attack speed. Yeah. Ability range, that sounds good. Uh, <laughs> why am I even... Why am I, I, I have room for all of this. I have room for all of this. Why do I even? Um, this can go up to 9. This can go up to 9. So it doesn't matter which one I slot into this one. Okay. Let's just... Oh, I just upgraded a bunch of stuff. Do I have enough forma for this? Oh, I'm a bit low right now. I only have like 7,000 forma. Uh, it's probably fine. I gotta I gotta sell some, some ayatans. Okay. We're not gonna bump this up, people. Gonna bump it up. All all the mods, bump it up. Mmm, more armor. I just wanna see what like a a base necromech loadout looks like. Just you know, right off the bat, right when you get it. I obviously need to get the rare necromech mods, which means I have to run isolation vaults over and over and over and over and over again. They drop from the necromechs. At like a super low drop rate. So just kill a million Necromex. Get all the mods. Engine. Okay. So what we got? 3000 health. Juicy. Tons of armor. That's a lot of damage reduction. Would like to have more energy, obviously. Would like ability strength and all that. Well, it's, it's unranked anyway, so. Now for the fun part. Uh, customizing the Necromech. How about random? Oh, oh, isn't he beautiful? Man, M n man. Ooh, that isn't half bad, except for the gross green skull. Um, yeah, we can work with that. We can work with that if if we want a sort of golden god kind of thing. Uh, let's 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 fiddle a bit. Okay, we got our boy. Oh, he looks looks wonderful. So you got your 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 necro webs, your storm shrouds to make yourself invincible, your mines, your guard mode. Yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, we have a necromech. We have to try it out. We have to try it out. And you know what else we have to do? We have to get uh, some other new stuff to level up, namely new companions. Because I don't know if you know this, people. I don't know if you know this, but thanks to Mr. Sun, we actually have six new companions that you can level up. Uh, all for mastery rank, of course. All for mastery rank. Uh, and the way we do that is, uh, you know, by just mutating up a bunch of different uh, kinds. And you know how it works with companions. You gotta first level them up to 30, then you gotta guild them. Then you level them up again, and that's how you get, like, mastery rank for them. So, uh, you gotta level them up twice. And they're kind of a drag to level up, because they only get experience from their own kills, and uh, kills by other party members, like shared affinity. So if you kill stuff, you're not gonna level up your pet. But if you just join a team of, like, four people and they kill stuff, that levels up your pet. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but that's how it works. Poor Kaylee thinks this family may yet have a future. Ah, oh, he's so hot. That me is bearable. Hope that'll kill you. So what I've done is, I've gotten like all the different mutagens, all the different antigens. Um, 
that I can get from now. I haven't reached the final level yet, so there is one I'm missing that I can't get yet. Uh, but let's start with the Parasite. We got the Vizier, the Pharaoh, and the Medjay. As you can see, one of these is way more common than the others. What's funny is that the Pharaoh is like the rare one, and the Medjay is the uncommon. But Medjays are kind of harder to, to hunt. But I guess we'll start with the, the easy one, right? The one that you're gonna get a bunch of. The Vizier Predacite. And then... Do you want infestation to the tail? Do you want scales to the tail? No side effects or cartilage exoskeleton. Like, this gives a bunch of different re re resistances. Some are better than others. Some people say that, like, the, the first one... Uh, like, I don't know, but, uh... Like, it changes cosmetics. It changes how it, like, looks. Good. Which is, you know, the, the most important part. So, infestation through the spine, through the horn, through the jaw, or none. So, if I just pick, like, all of these... Right? You can see here. This is what... Uh, the, ugh. This is what this boy looks like. Uh, with uh, the uh, monochild mutagen and the uh, tethron antigen. But if I were to like, yeah, you can just check it out this way. All right, you got infested tail. You got scale tail. You got nothing. Or the cartilage exoskeleton. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. As you wish. And then you have infestation through the horn. Ooh. Infestation through the jaw. So it's like glowy bits in the jaw. And then nothing. And then through the spine, so you got your little shimmy shakes on the spine. I kind of, I kind of dig like the big horn, but maybe I want the big horn on the on the pharaoh, because this guy already has the glowy bits. So maybe it's cool to give him like some some more glowy bits, like that. Done. Now he's got more glowy bits. I like that. Wait, parts not own. I don't have that one. I don't have that one. Okay, fine. He can, he can get glowy things under his jaw. Oh, I don't have the exoskeleton either. Oh, it's the highest level one. How sad. How sad. Oh, well. Well. Fine. You're the first one anyway. You're the first one anyway. Yes. There. The creature is healthier than ever. And looking superb with it. Yay! It's yours now. Collared. And bonded. May you always have one another's back. That's neat. Now we can also make a Vulpophyla, obviously. You got your Sly, you got your Panzer, you got your Crescent. We'll start with the first one. The Sly. And we'll chuck in... I'll just pick whatever for now, just to see what it looks like. Okay, this is... Here we go. This is Sly. Okay, what, what, what we can get? A Scaled Mane. Ooh, that looks neat. I like a scaled mane. A tumorous jaw growth. Yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, shoulder protrusions. That looks cool too. But yeah, let's go with a scaled mane. Mm. Okay, so you got the tail. You got the, the nine tails. Uh, nothing, right? Uh, tail is a chitinous shell. That looks a bit silly. Tail is a tentacle mass. That looks cool. Tail skin. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, that's very fancy. Well, that's not gonna be him. He's gonna get a tentacle mass. Yeah! Alright. So you won't get to name it until you've uh, ranked it up and mastered it. is purged, and the patient as well. Look out for each other. Found family is the truest. Man, you got some issues. So, here's the thing. Uh, the experimental procedures. Here's how you, like, sort of guild... Notice that to, to guild one of these guys, a Perdicite or a Volpophyla, you need 10 Sun Tokens in addition to uh, your um, Entrati points, your standing points. So go out and do them hunts. Go out and hunt. And uh, and trade for tags. Trade for tags. So, like, if you got something, uh, just check it out now and again. Like here, if you just want, like, Vizier Perdicites and Sly Volpophylas, those are a dime a dozen. You find those everywhere. That's pretty pretty fine. Um, wow, he wants 55 white velocipods? No, no, wait. He just wants one medjay and one 
Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. For five of these. Love it. So we're doing good here. We're doing good here. I'll trade in this one too. Need my sun tokens. Like, I know, I, I know. It's not I all about to tokens. I know. You could also trade them in for floofs. And you obviously want uh, some floofs. Indeed. Those are nice. Those are nice. Bye for now, you shiny thing. Hey, is that me? Am I the chi shiny thing? Well, now that we have our new boys, we're gonna start running with our new boys. So where are they? Where are they? We got M M Valpophila. Woo! Yeah, he's cool. And the Predacite. He's also cool. Ah, nice. So the color scheme sort of uh, blend together once it's crafted. I was wondering about that. If it was gonna be like a different color on it, but no, no, it blends. It blends. That's nice. Uh, neat, neat. Let's start with with the, the Valpophila. Hmm. And let's chuck in some survivability mods. What she got? Survival instinct. Sure. Slide evolution. This is cool. These guys are immortal. When it dies, it becomes a larva. And then it respawns after 30 seconds. So these guys just straight up cannot die. That's pretty good. Increases my evasion. Uh, whenever they kill an enemy. I don't know. Is that good? I don't know if that's good. Anywho. Anywho. Let's just chuck in like a link health. Um... A link armor. That's great. That's great. That's gonna keep him alive forever. And an animal instinct. Wonderful. Wonderful. Anything else? I, I kinda want fetch. Oh, I kinda want fetch more than I want link armor. Yeah, obviously. Duh. And yeah, whatever. Whatever. We're ready. Alright. Now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna free roam for a bit here. Because I got... My Necromec. I just wanna run out and check uh, what this thing is like in practice. Obviously, I've already tried using it in the... In the main quest. But now I have one. And I gotta look up, like, what the meta is for... For... You know. Hey, did I mention that the Mausolon, the weapon that you get for the Necromec... It just comes with like a gravity mag, so you can just use it with your with your guy, with your warframe. You don't need to to farm for a gravity mag. It just it just comes with one. Apparently, I didn't have to put a gravity mag into this thing, which means I should be able to. Huh. Hmm. Okay, here we go. This is a mausolon. Granted, I've put a reactor in it. Yes, I have. But it's rank 0. Well, I am master rank 28, so it's got like 28 mod capacity, whatever. No forma in it. Just a reactor. Let's see what this let's see what this bad boy can do. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Uh, I'm listening. Granted, these are low-level enemies, but that's fine. Okay, so I've, I've charged up the thing. I've charged up the thing that you charge up by killing enemies. Now we just gotta find some enemies. We just gotta find them. Come on, enemies. Show yourselves. I think they're gonna be over here. Y y you guys are small price. Your small fries. I want the big stuff. Like, I'm probably gonna have to, like, jump into a bounty or something. Uh, to see what this thing can, can actually do with, like, level 40, level 50, level 60 enemies. Um, that's more interesting, obviously. But up here. Let's see. You got... Okay, he was ranked 9... He was level 19. That's fine. 
Um, it sounds fun. It sounds fun to use. Okay. Come on! Give me like a, a cluster of enemies. Give me, give me something here. Game. You know what? Let's just let's just start a bounty. And we'll s Annihilate that life form. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, that was my maim? I wasn't doing it on purpose, son. I really wasn't doing it on purpose. All right. Also, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I am running around with the Tromna. Um, trying that one out. I'm probably gonna make like a video, uh, like a, a, a weapon review about the Tromna. Um, one thing to note, one thing to note about it, I'm gonna say, uh, is that it requires a bit of help. So like, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Eh. I wanna go public for this. Um, it is a very good weapon, uh, but it's gonna need a reactor, and it's probably gonna need like six or seven forma before it really starts to shine. Over the years, many expeditions of both Grenier and Corpus have become trapped on Demos. Caches of resources left behind by the survivors still dot the surface. See what you hey. can find and bring back. That or guy has a neat Zata glyph. Wonder how they got that. Is that Zata? I think that's Zata. I'm not sure, but I think that's Zata. Damn, I'm starting to recognize these requiems. I play this game too much. All right. I'm in. Ah, oh, I can't launch yet. I have to help them defend. Hi guys, I'm here to help defend. Okay. I'm gonna put on my buffs and pull out the stuffs. Yeah. Give me something to shoot. Okay. Right. So that's a bit more realistic against like level 40 enemies. Considering I haven't put any form in this yet. But now I want to use the alt fire on this thing. Infested casualty rate has topped 50%. Thank you, Lloyd. God, can, can we just talk about Lloyd? Can we just talk about how the voice actor for, for Lloyd just, just knocked it out of the goddamn park? Woo! I love him. I love the way he says... Toxicity. <laughs> Woo! Hey, so I love the design of these Necromech weapons uh, and uh, like the Entrati weapons, where to use the alt fire, you have to charge it up, but once it's charged up, uh, it actually doesn't take ammo uh, to, to fire off the alt fire. Um, that's way better than, for example, uh, the Quellor. Uh, the Quellor that, um, you can just fire the alt fire much in the same way as these things. Let's see. Oh man, that's a shielded level 50 juggernaut. And this thing just... Oh, god damn. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Work, Thank you. With the infested self comprehensively out of the picture, you should be clear to proceed. God, I love these massive endo rewards that these bounties give. Like a thousand endo for one bounty stage? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Absolutely, I'll take that. The Corpus Researcher, Latrox Oom, is in the area. Seek his assistance for cash reclamation. So here's the problem. Um, if I go into Arcwing to get over there, I'm gonna lose my, my arch gun. I don't want to do that, so I have to. I have to take the slow path up. Oof. But yeah, like I said, the um, uh, 
the Quellor, you can fire off the alt fire. It's also like this big heavy thing, just like like these weapons. But it takes like 75 ammo. It has it has 300 ammo in in the magazine. So it feels bad. It just feels bad to use it. With this, it's the same. You just use your normal fire. Feels much like the Quellor's normal fire. And and once you just have it charged, then you just wait for your moment because that's how you use the Quellor anyway. You just wait for an opportune moment to to blast off the alt fire. And the alt fire on this thing. Woo! That's juicy. And just wait until I can mod this thing a little bit better. Like, I'm not even... Like, it's not even full. Um, it's got, like, three mod slots that I'm not, like, using yet. Because I need more form in it. I can get more crit chance and more crit damage while aiming. I can add more elemental damage to the thing. Oh. So, the normal fire here. Yeah, I'm putting, like... A million billion heat procs on this thing. That's nice. Didn't seem to be able to put any viral procs on it. It might be like status immune to that. Might be. We'll see. But it fires fast. It fires fast, so so the heat procs build up pretty quickly. That's neat. Um You know what? Can I... How do I... Oh, no. Oh, I don't think I can jump into Necromech because I think Necromech is, like, here. Where I have to equip it in my gear wheel. Oh, it's not equipped. Damn. I was gonna jump into my Necromech, but now I can't jump into my Necromech. That is indeed a sadness. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's just for the next video, right? It is, it's classic content creation. You gotta always leave them wanting just a little bit more. That's how you get them to come back. Because now you're like, ah oh, shit, I didn't actually get to see the Necromech. Ah, that one felt way less impressive. All right, let's keep on doing this. That's still pretty fast. That's still pretty fast. Because, again, like, this thing does not have any mods in it. <laughs> I mean, except just, you know, 56 points worth of mods. <laughs> it doesn't have any form in it. It doesn't have any form. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be... My new favorite bad boy, I think. Oh, it's so much fun to use. Sounds good. Has a good, good feel to it. Good heft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petrox has his uses, but he seems clueless about the location of any caches. He is likely lying to keep them for himself. Corpus is as Corpus does. Indeed, Lloyd. I have located a squad of Grenier survivors in the area. Questioning them may assist in finding... Alright, here we go. This one requires expediency. Uh, it's kind of... It's actually kind of, kind of hard to get the bonus on this one. Uh, because they kill things pretty fast. So, if I'm... If I want to be sure to, um... Get the bonus, I'm probably gonna have to rock my melee weapon for this. Uh... Instead of, like, weapons that I'm leveling up and stuff. If I'm used to using weapons that I'm leveling up... Like, I actually think the Grenier are gonna kill things faster than we are. We're not even winning right now. That's messed up. And to get the bonus, we have to, like, do double what they do. But they kill things so fast. So, like, it's an actual struggle to, to keep up with them. Like, you can do it if you run in here with the right gear and stuff. Um, obviously, I can't do it now because I'm, like, just running in here with, like, new weapons that I'm leveling up like an asshole. Like an asshole. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, 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 guys. Don't shoot at them. I, I was gonna kill them. Guys, guys, mine. Woo! Mine, okay? Don't be like that. Uh, we might get the bonus here. We might. I'm sticking around very close to these Grenier guys and trying to kill everything uh, first that they are aiming at. And the rest of my team seems to be more sort of running around and picking up everything else uh, in the vicinity. Uh, might work. I'm not sure it's gonna work. They're up to 40%, and if they hit 50%, uh, then it's done. Oh man, oh man, huh? Uh. Ah! Come on. We have to kill things faster. Faster! Everything has to be so fast. Uh, you can't even see what's happening on the screen. That's how fast we are. Oof. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I believe in me. Oh, uh, do you believe in me? Oh, uh, you shouldn't believe in me. Oh, uh, that's a mistake. Ah, uh, it's a mistake. Y you made a mistake by believing in me. Ah, uh, they're up to 50%. We, did we didn't do it. We didn't do it. We didn't get the bonus. Hmm. How sad. How sad. Okay, so Mrs. Grunty waved her fist and said something rude when I asked her about Cassius. So I don't think she knows about any. See, if I had gone in here with my Exceltra, with a Riven mod and and 8 form and all that, <laughs> then it would have been fine. What's that you said? Is that unreasonable that that's the sort of gear you need to get the bonus uh, in this? Yeah. Yeah, like, they're still tweaking stuff, right? Uh, when Deimos came out, uh, the um, the Latrox Uden quest was uh, bugged. So it was, like, impossible to get the bonus if you were running in a four-person group. Like, you could only do it... Uh, if you were going solo. Like, it, it literally didn't matter uh, what you did. You just could not get the full bonus. Uh, it wasn't physically possible. So, you know. That got fixed. Uh, but I think this one has been tweaked in the opposite direction. I feel like the, the uh, Grunier... The Grunier buddies... I feel like that quest was easier before. But now they've tweaked it to the point where it's uh, really, really hard. It's really hard uh, to get the bonus on that one. I haven't tried it in, in solo to see if it's uh, to see if it's different or like more manageable. Like it might be. I wouldn't know. All right, guys, one more of these should do it. Boom. Just need another thing to stick into the thing. Or maybe it's just that, like... Um, maybe it's just uh, the thing that uh, of me uh, leveling up more stuff and just running around with subpar gear. Because it's been a while since I've had my Exceltra. Maybe it's just that, like, I need to be using my bread and butter weapons. And it's actually just as manageable as it's been before. If you, like, approach it with, with the best stuff you have. But I don't know, man. Like, I'm using my weapon. My melee weapon. It's the Parathesis. It's rank 40. It's four mud all to hell. Um, it's very strong. And I was just swinging non-stop throughout the entire thing and doing everything I could to just sort of um, hunt for enemies to kill before the Grenier. But, but they are... They are fast. Thank you, Lloyd. They are very fast at taking things out. Oh well. Oh, hey, 
I have the Quasis, I have Zaku. Um, I'm mainly running this tier of bounty because I wanted to try out the Mausolon. And, uh, well, you know, because I, you always need more Mother Tokens. Aww. Aww, just as I pop my Arch Gun, I have to, uh I have to hunt for tumors. The okay. Substrate has formed tumors anchoring the cache. Blast them free. Let's look for that some tumors. Tumor. Oh. Now return to the main growth and break it open. Okay. Very good. Now we shall see Yay. What Another well Quasis blueprint. Projected expectations. Lloyd tells me you have a cache unlocked. A decent enough haul for our collective efforts. I'm not sure what we would do without these occasional windfalls. Okay, that's all well and good, but how about the Necromech? Hmm. We can pop this bad boy uh, in a lower tier of bounty. Because I also want to try out, like, they've hotfixed things. They've said uh, that they've hotfixed the drop rates for Scintillant in the uh, in the tier 2 bounty because it was sort of bugged before it said that it was a common but it wasn't actually common so no one got it now it's supposed to actually be in the common resource pool like it was supposed to be from the start we'll see i personally think that that could probably probably have been fixed a bit faster than it was I'm gonna say that probably could have been fixed a bit faster than it was uh, let's see now let's get our mech necromech going here I think this is how it works you plop it in the gear wheel and then I want it next to my arch gun deployer right so we gotta we gotta chuck these for now okay 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 Let's see. Where is he? I saw him. Yep. Necromech summon. There we go. There we go. And we definitely want our... Um, squad energy restore. And maybe an ammo restore could be nice too. Right? Yeah. And my air support charges. Okay. Okay. Now we can summon a Necromech. Now we will summon yes, a necromech. There are bounties. If so be it. Let's see what you're made of. So when I talked about like this Grenier mission and killing things in time, super fine on the lower levels. Super fine on the tier two bounty. Rest assured, they will be non-hostile. These Grenier fully. It's just on the tier five bounty that uh, the Grenier are just killing things way too quickly. Like you. You can't keep up with them. I don't know. Like, I, it feels like if you play your cards right and you know what you're doing and you play correctly, you should be able to like get the bonus reward with uh, with like a near 100% success rate. Oh, hey, there's a cash. I think. I think like not getting the bonus, uh, especially like since. Uh, since you have to get the bonus on uh, on every part, you have to get the bonus on every part to get like the bonus bonus. In the end, um, which means that like you know if if you fail one, uh, kind of sucks. Kind of sucks if you just fail a single one, you're gonna lose out on like getting all of the full rewards. Thank you. So I feel like not getting the bonus should be reserved to being like the result of a fuck up. Alright, let's do this. Look for appropriate bait. Okay, there he is. So, how do I get into him? How do I get into him? Do I like void dash into him? 
so. <laughs> um. Okay. How do I? How do I enter this guy? Oh. Oh, okay. Neat. I just go operator mode and then I leave operator mode while I stand close to it. Gotcha. Shabam! Oh, this is beautiful. I am beautiful. Behold my beauty. This is now a mech warrior game. I love mech warrior. My favorite mech warrior growing up was a Warhammer. The Warhammer is a very cool mech warrior. Everything about this is cool. Is that me? Oh, I, I look so tiny. Hee <laughs> hee, and I don't have a shadow. That's okay. Um, but yeah. You should be able to consistently get all of the bonus stuff if you just know what you're doing and play the bounty correctly. That's not really the case for the Grenier right now. Um, in the level 5 bounty. I feel like with this one... Um, like, it is a struggle. You have to fight tooth and nail and just get in there with, like, massively, massively good gear. Like, you have to get in there with the best stuff you have and, and play your fastest, most effective game. And if, if all four members of the squad don't do that, if all four members of the squad don't have like that sort of endgame gear then it's like oh you're not gonna get it expedite i love you lloyd lloyd talks the way a man should talk he's classy oh, i haven't unlocked my level two ability yet let's haha <laughs> That one felt a bit flat. Oh, look at that. That guy also has a necromech. Everyone's got a necromech. It's just me. I'm the one who's behind. So if you run Excalibur Umbra, I guess it's the same deal as if you're being in operator mode, right? Umbra is just going to run around by himself while you are a uh, necromech. I think that's how it's going to work. Oh no, this is just an ally necromech. It's not... It's not controlled by a player. It's just one of those necromechs walking around. Ah, we're swapping from day to night. <laughs> I like Otok too. Otok is fun. Alright, so the question is... Uh, can I fly up there? Well, okay. Damn it! I have to get up there in time. Oof. Ah. Okay. Now this guy is, is putting in work. Because yeah, on this on this tier, on tier two. Like we can kill things. We can one shot enemies. But on tier five, only the Grenier can one shot enemies. We cannot. Now, I still need to put in some, some more work, I feel like. I'm probably the slower one here. He seems pretty quick about what he's doing. Give me something to shoot. Give me some enemies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, man, if it doesn't feel fun, though. It feels great to walk around in this thing. And do the shoot bangs. And boom, big shoot bangs. Ah, I got my storm shroud. I can now make myself uh, immortal. Uh, it's it's like uh, it's like Rhino's iron skin, but it also has a damage reflect. Cause that's fair. What's up? Does this thing have like overheating or what? It's like at some 
At some points, I can't really shoot the way I want to. Yay, more Zaku neuroptics. All non infested are allies, and we need allies. So I leave by like uh, going operator, right? Okay, so how do I get back into. Ah! Neat! Well, that's cool! That's really cool! Woo! But, ah! Something had bugged for a second there. Could only like run around with my sword, couldn't pull out my weapon or anything. But I didn't get any scintillant, did I? Well, even if it's a common drop, it's not that common, I guess. Let's check it out. I didn't see any scintillant. Uh, no. No. I'm gonna say, like, for now, even if they've increased the drop rates, it, the way to get scintillant, like, just farming it, is probably still just gonna be running isolation vaults. Probably. Well... There's only one thing left for me to check out, and that is uh, if Lloyd has something different to say to me um, now that I uh, have a Necromech. Probably not, because I think this is saved for like some later content update. Uh, the interaction with the the Necroloid Syndicate. We may commerce freely. Because keep in mind with Lloyd, it was like, Lloyd is the guy who sent the distress signal and wanted us to come. It was not the Entrati family. And they sort of like didn't even trust us in the beginning. And Lloyd is doing his own thing here in the basement. He is the only one who still has intact memory. The family is sort of like starting to forget who they are, forget the past or whatever. Lloyd remembers. And he's sometimes he has voice lines where he's like, hey, don't, don't tell any of the family what's going on down here. Let's see if we can trigger that voice line. Greetings. May I be of assistance? Exercise caution whenever possible. Uh-huh. I must ask there. that you give our dealings a secret from Mother. What's this about? What's this about, Lloyd? And and I like that his rankings um are security clearances. Which is like where he's allowed to tell us more and more things. I think they're gonna add more ranks to this. I don't think we're gonna stop at three. Interested in a business exchange? But the only thing I have left, I guess, is the Deimos chamber scene. I am sorry we were not able to arrive at a satisfactory arrangement. All right, that's fine. I'm running isolation vaults. You get so many of these. You get so many of these matrices. I should be. Uh, maxing this out. Let's see. Two. Every day. Boom! Uh, because when they add more stuff, I obviously want to be at max standing, and I want to get that, uh... The Deimos chamber scene as well. I have everything else here. So, um... Definitely want to try this weapon as well, the Cortege. A flamethrower. Oh, that looks so cool. Man. But these weapons. Finding the damaged necromech uh, weapon receivers and weapon barrels and stuff. Oh. Trust this does not preclude. <sighs> Be pragmatic in all aspects of life. Yes, Lloyd. Goddamn. Such a grind. I really wish they'd add more stuff because, like, it's just one mission. The isolation vaults. Like, sure, you run three of them, but it's like, it's the same mission. You just run this one mission over and over and over and over and over again. And it's fine. It's fine. I like fighting against uh, the Necromix. But a lot of the different parts... <clears throat> it's like a cosplaying as Robin. Uh, but a lot of the different sort of um, parts of the mission are just, you know, where you kind of stand around waiting. Like, oh, first you gotta stand in this area and wait around for a bit. 
Then you gotta stand in this area and wait around for a bit. And then you gotta stand in this area and wait around for a bit. It's a bit too much of that. But then you get to the actual isolation vaults and it's like jam-packed with action. Tons of it. And you get to fight Necromex and they're cool too. I like that part. So that's fine. Um, but it's, I guess I'm just gonna have to run a million billion more of those. <laughs> Alright, we get to the bottom of it soon. Uh, I obviously still have to rank up a little bit more with the Entrati Syndicate. I'm still only at three. Uh, tomorrow I'll get enough standing to hit friend. And after that we get family and we'll see what that unlocks. We'll see what that unlocks. I don't know yet actually. I'm keeping myself spoiler free so I'm not watching other people's videos about it. I want to find out for myself. It's gonna be great. If you want to give me spoilers in the comment section, you can, but it's probably not that big of a deal. So you might as well just let me experience it for myself. It's not going to be world shattering either way. Anywho, anywho, that's up next. That's up next, people.